after almost four years of the commissioning of the Commander Sugar Factory, the $36.5 million facility sits idle and rusting away. Government has indicated that Park Agrotech Company has been identified as the strategic investor to start the full operationalization of the facility. The factory, which was put up from an Indian Exim Bank facility, was inaugurated by the then President John Dramani Mahama in 2016 amidst pomp and pageantry. The facility was, however, locked up after a few test runs. In November 2017, the MPP government initiated processes to revive its operations. The Minister for Trades and Industry, Alan Tremanton, addressing Parliament on June 3, 2020, said the technical partners of Park Agrotech will begin a comprehensive program to bring the factory back to life as soon as the restrictions on foreign travels arising from the COVID-19 pandemic is lifted after all the necessary and relevant protocols and approvals have been secured. But, a former member and secretary of the Project Management Board says, government has no justification for its failure to revive the factory. If the government is really determined to ensure that the factory runs, I'm telling you that they could do arrangements for the investor to come and work. Because, per my information, the Park Agrotech Ghana Limited is working in Ghana. They have their offices at Abelempe in, the, in Accra. The managing director for Park Agrotech Ghana Limited, Mr. Lalit Mishra, he is still in Ghana. He is not in India. He is of the view it will take the investor 12 months to renovate the facility before commencing operations. When the factory is working, it needs to go through routine maintenance and servicing. But for the past three to four years, nothing has been done about this factory. So you could see or you can, you can just imagine the magnitude of deterioration that will affect this factory. Part of the loan agreement was for the country to commence repayment after the factory had been operational for five years. But is this feasible? By October 2021, we must start servicing that loan. And how are we going to do so? If the factory is running, the proceeds or the dividends from the factory, the factory will pay itself, you see. But now it is not happening. So how are they going to pay this loan? Are they going to take money from our consolidated fund or the taxpayers' money or the oil money or whatever money that they are going to use to pay that loan? Or what arrangement have they done with this Indian government?